What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Effie Aftermath, back with another video. Today, we are on the second installment of, I guess you want to call this the Natty Push-Pull workout. It's just a push-pull workout, but I still feel like this is the best beneficial workout for our natural lifters. Now, once again, day two, this is going to be a quad dominant day. Quad dominant doesn't mean that we won't be training anything else. It just means the main focus will be quads. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get it. Today's Thursday, bro. It's today Thursday? Yeah. What? What did you think it was? I thought today was Tuesday. Nah, bro, you're tweaking. Are you sure? You actually thought that? Yo, because Tuesday. I'm shooting, I'm shooting for, uh, I'm shooting like a, a, a program for yeah. people. So on the program today is like the Tuesday. No, so man. that's why I think it's like Tuesday. It's, it's not even you know, Wednesday, just, man. It's Thursday, it's bro. It's Thursday. Yo, I'm, I'm bugging. I'm bugging. I'm like, I'm shooting this video for you guys and like, Shooting this video and then like training my regular car, uh, my regular stuff is like throwing me off. We're gonna start out here with leg extensions. We got five sets, 12 to 15 reps, and then we're gonna superset it with like some air squats, just about 10 reps air squats, and we'll go back and forth. This is a good exercise to start out with, just to get the blood flowing, get your body warmed up, and uh, yeah. Today's quad day. It's like a quad dominant day. And then I'm shooting like a push pull program, uh, kind of. That's really it. You out already? Yeah, man. I just, I came here to just fuck around and just, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> know. You know, you're on, are, are you on a powerlifting program right now or just you're free to do whatever? I'm free to do whatever. Okay. I, I get them back on program next week. Okay, but like when you're on program, how, what's your, how, how many days do you train? Six days a week. Six days a week? And how often do you do each lift? Uh, I squat twice, deadlift twice, and bench four times. Four? Bench four times? Bro, my shoulders would die. Four times? I'm, I'm, I might go with stand to stay safe. So, I mean, yeah. Like uh, to to that's the beauty of being young. That's right. <laughs> All right, bro. I right, got you, got you, got you. Y'all see? Y'all see right there? Y'all see that? I cut myself on my own fingernail. I was laughing. I said, <laughs> and, I, and then all of a sudden, I started, I, I thought I was sweating. And then it just started dripping down my nose. And I was like, I'm like, am I fucking bleeding? It was, it was, it was actually worse yesterday. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, I tell you now. Yeah. Let's, I bite, I always bite my nails. I always bite them off. All right, what you got right he seems to be right on time when I'm shooting every oh time. <laughs> Hack squat, sets of eight. The bands, the resistance bands, helps with coming back up. So I'm allowed to focus more on the eccentric motion, eccentric motion. And then the concentric motion is made easier with these bands right here. Um, I need these to connect. There we go. We got Young Bloods playing. For this, we're gonna go um, four to five sets of eight reps. Uh, let's make it like eight to eight to twelve. Uh, I'd, I'd I'd say eight to ten, but if you want to go a little bit lighter, eight to twelve. <laughs> So 
know, something to add in. As we did, we did the upper, we did, and we're doing lower today with certain focuses on each day. Now on the third day, let me go ahead and get this out the way. I'm gonna do a video for you guys for a third day, what I usually do, but the third day can be used to train those secondary muscles, you know, arms and shoulders. Well, not shoulders as far as secondary, but like arms. Uh, but you can add shoulders in there as well and abs. And, um, or you can just take it as a rest day and you can do more exercises on the first two days. Take that third day fully off and then get back to it again. It's like two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. Or you can do, you know, two days on a, you know, smaller muscle exercise day with abs and some conditioning cardio and then back at it again and then a rest day or you can do it that way. So, I mean, there's multiple ways you can do this, but this is just how I, I do it. I'm gonna get, since I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna be in a war battle, I want to get like a war battle like scar tattooed on my eye. Like Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 3. Huh? That's a little too much. A little too much? Bro, I'm trying to be a real life anime character, bro. And what says anime character more than a battle scar? These are the conversations we need to have. I need to start a podcast. Comment down below, y'all. Ready for an Aftermath podcast. Oh, let's add this in. Jewel of the day. The higher you put your feet, for those who didn't know, the more you're gonna put a little bit more emphasis on the glutes, not fully, but you're gonna get more um, feel in your glutes. As you put it down, you're creating more knee flexion. When there's more knee flexion, the quads are engaged more, therefore you're hitting the quads a lot more when they're down more. So, and I like to go my feet a little bit angled out a bit to work my sloppy ass inner, inner quads. <clears throat> As you see, so my heel starts to come up, so I'm gonna put it up a little bit, because I kinda wanna keep that heel down. But I want all the pressure still on the sole of my feet. part about this program. Now, I will usually have my deadlift on an opposite day, but no, if I'm going front squats, I'm, going, I'm about to do front squats right now, but I'm gonna do front squats and after these I have deadlifts. So the front squats will be more so volume versus strength and uh, my deadlifts will be strength. So I'll be working up to heavy weight for deadlifts, but not so much for the front squats. But we're gonna have five sets of about eight reps on the front squats, I'll probably stay around 225, 315 for that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the workout for the quads right here. Feeling like Dobby with this white hair again, boy. You, you saw that, right? You, you caught up on Hero? Oh, okay. I don't get the reference. You, then you're not caught up on Hero Academia. I am. in this batch, but if you pick it, you enter a drawing to win $100 cash.
Don't take it. <laughs> a hundred dealies. I'm gonna do a drawing. And whoever get pulled from that drawing get a hundred dollars cash. I bet. <laughs> bet, bet, bet. Hundred dealies. Uh, he asked me how much have I spent on fast food, like the most. Probably like a hundred, like twenty, including like the tip. Or like it was a taco cart. Is like that's considered fast food, yeah? Would you consider that fast food? It was a, it was a taco truck. That is fast food. He literally makes it fast and it's food. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try guillotine style. What is going on? I can't find, I can't find a fucking comfortable position. I'm, I'm gonna have to right now. I don't know why, but I just cannot get a comfortable, in a comfortable position. This is called front straps. <clears throat> no. Collarbone, bro. It's just like sitting. Oh, let me take this off. That's probably what it is. So we're in the five to eight range, <laughs> not the eight. We're doing five to eight reps right now. I'm probably gonna have to take it down, get a few more reps in. Hey, like front squats, it's taxing as fuck, bro. It's probably, I'd rather do heavy deadlifts for sets of whatever than front squats, bro. Front squats is, All right, so we actually got deadlifts today also, but we're gonna do the sex machine. We're gonna work on our adductors and um, we're gonna warm up our hips and stuff before we get into our deadlifts. So we're still training that legs. Um, I'm, I'm considering uh, some leg curls as well. So that leg curls and then finish off with some deadlifts. Uh, so that might be the, that might be it. Now, just for everybody to take in, I would normally wouldn't leave deadlift for last. That would actually be one of the, um, something I would do, literally, I would do my front squats and then my deadlifts, but I'm having to play around because the gym's packed, and um, that's just kind of how I'm having to work it out, so. Today's positioning is kind of weird. No strengthening hips helps with mobility when you're able to strengthen those areas and then on top of your mobility work, strengthening actually helps with flexibility. A five five for five for deadlifts um, around 
Probably 600. We'll, do, we'll be around 600. Bro, well, well, you already know. You already know. <laughs> that nigga said, hoo-ha. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, having this the last exercise is pretty rough. I took the 25s off, sorry ladies and gentlemen, but wait, hold on. Uh, just to be in the 500s, I took some 10s off. I can't be in no 400s doing five sets of fives. That is it for the video. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all like how I just smoothly came over here after that, right? We done. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. The second installment of this program for you guys is finished as of now. Wait on day three, which you can take as a rest day or you can do what I do. So it's like active recovery, somewhat kind of day. But uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you all for the support. Alpha Lee. Your boy's about to be exclusive with Alpha Lee now. So use code Aftermath for Alpha Lee and uh, catch you guys later.